Science 3 Rock, reporting from the States. Today we have with us here, on a day of rest, Tommy Johansson from Sabaton. Tommy. Yes. Tell us what's going on so far and how you like it. Tell us all the good stuff. <laughs> all the good stuff. Well, uh, we are allowed to talk about, seriously. Uh, this has uh, been a, an amazing journey. My first North American tour ever, and it's been great so far. Just fantastic. I mean, uh, I've been to places I never thought I would be go to. I met people I would never expect to meet, uh, and the way that uh, the crowd has been. Uh, you you feel very welcome every time you go and play. You you don't expect that uh, people would be so love the band so much, and it's it's cool. It's very nice. I enjoy it very much, and we've been out for over a month now. We started off uh, in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, we took three days to we, when we came. We took three days to rest, and uh, you know, with the jet lag and everything. Sure. But then we had a first gig in uh, Columbus, Ohio, and we had the last gig two days ago. Oh, so it's over. Yes, the North American tour is over now, and it's been a great gig. Uh, a great tour. We toured with uh, opening up for Trivium, which is a very, very famous band here. So it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's it was very great. The nice guys, fantastic guys, and uh, we also had a band Huntress with us on tour, who opened up uh, before us. Also great guys, uh, nice people. So it's been uh, it's been great, very nice. I learned a lot. Awesome, I'm sure. Yeah. Not any. What's the um highlights that you remember the most other than of course the fans and the places that you've been I mean the experiences that you've had so far um, how has it changed you if it's changed you at all in any way well of course it has changed my my view of uh, touring before you go on tour you have this certain view of how a tour mm -hmm. works out how it goes uh, mostly because of what you see in TV and uh, read about, well I can tell it's a lot different from uh, 1984 and 2016, it's a big difference. Mm -hmm. This whole uh, sex, drugs and rock and roll myth. I mean, some bands, they still do that, try to live that dream. But uh, bands like that don't really get famous because it's a, it's a job. You're, you're working, you're not out having fun. Well, of course we have fun. But it's not a, a fun trip, a vacation, it's, it's a job that you're having, a very nice job. So you still have to work. I mean, if we have a gig on a Thursday, which that means that on Wednesday you cannot go out and drink beer and get crazy. If we have a day off on Friday, which is on Thursday, we can take a, a couple of beers if we want to. But of course, we're adult men, we're adult, adult people in the band, in the crew, we're responsible. So. Uh, we're taking it very easy and uh, enjoying this tour just as we should. Excellent. So to say. <laughs> and where are you going to be going off to next? Uh, <clears throat> we're going to the North, uh, South America in a couple of days actually. We're going to fly down to Brazil to have our first gig there. And then we're going to tour there for a couple of weeks until the 14th of November when we will go back to our homes. Most of us will go to Sweden but since we have people also live in Portugal, Germany, America, so we will go home then. So it's, uh, it's not a couple of weeks of touring left. Excellent, excellent.